Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Matthew Sports Talk. Got a lot to talk about today. So, uh, let's start with, uh, how about them Minnesota Vikings yesterday? Um, going into Lambeau Field, not expecting to do anything, and coming away with the win by the final score of 28-22. to And the man, Dalvin Cook, whoo! 200 and I can't I can't remember the exact let me pull it up 216 or no two 226 total yards and four touchdowns whoo wee how about that so now the Vikings are two and five and that still got a lot a lot of games left to play but you know what can beat Rodgers and Lambo, you could beat pretty much anyone in this league. So, just have to put your mind to it. So, yep, that made me very, very happy. Um, looking at the rest of the NFL, um, it's been a while, so um, let's start out with Thursday night's game, um, which Atlanta Falcons beat the Carolina Panthers 25-17. to um, Big whoop. Not really a big picture game. So, let's talk about something, a couple games that were big picture. Let's start with the Steelers and the Ravens. Um, Steelers remaining as the only undefeated team left in the NFL, beating the Ravens 28 to 24. I don't have my power rankings um, with me. Um, and they're not yet finished because there's still one more game left. There's the Monday Night Football game left. So um, after that, then I'll have my my weekly power rankings. Um, other games that happen: the Bills end a long losing streak against the New England Patriots, tw- and they beat them 24-21. I think the Patriots are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's trouble in Foxborough. Um, Shocker in Cincinnati, the Bengals beating the Titans 31-20. to um, Picked up Tannehill on my fancy team. I won my fancy team because uh, Sean Watson was on a bye week, so I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Raiders beat the Browns 16-6. to Not a huge surprise there. Colts beat up the Lions 41-21. to Thank you, Colts. Um, the Chiefs. Surprise, surprise. Kick the Jets' butt 35 to 9. Dolphins beat the Rams 28 to 17. Uh, don't go to sleep on the Dolphins. They are secretly uh, 4 and 2. I mean, 4 and 3, I think. Um, yeah, so. Um, yeah, 4 and 3. So, don't go to sleep on the Dolphins. Um, Broncos came back. To beat the Chargers 31-30. to Poor Chargers. How many games have they blown with a lead this year? So just saying. Uh, Saints beat the Bears 26-23 in overtime. Proving that. Once again, the Bears cannot beat a quality opponent. So. Um, Seahawks beat the 49ers 37-27. to and um, Sunday Night Football, the Eagles beat the Cowboys 23 to nine. <laughs> and I was I was I watched a good part part of that game. <laughs> for the sad thing is, is that for the most part, the Cowboys almost could have won that game with their third string quarterback. How sad is that? And it's mainly due to the fact that Carson Wentz is just terrible. Um, he threw he uh, threw two interceptions. And I believe he fumbled the ball. Yeah, he threw two interceptions, and he also fumbled the ball, fumbled the ball twice. So, four turnovers, all Carson Wentz. So, <laughs> it that just just goes to show you what what the crappy NFC East is all about. So, yeah. Um. So yeah, that's a little. And then tonight, um. We got a game that I probably won't be watching. It's the Buccaneers against the Giants. Um, so yeah, that's one other game remaining this this week. So now I'll talk about a little fantasy football. Um, my Minneapolis Skull Squad um, 
lost 156 to 128. Um, had some bright points on that. Um, my man Patrick Mahomes had 36.6 fantasy points. Tyreek Hill had 25.8 fantasy points. Um, and then several, uh, Jamal Williams, 18.2, um, Eric E. Brown, 14.8, and Chase Claypool. Chase Clay Claypool came alive late, thank God, got 13.2. Um, but yeah, unfortunately the other guy had Rodgers, Giovanni Bernard, Keenan Allen, uh, Boyd, Travis Kelsey, and the Dallas defense, who actually did good last, last night, so, um, yeah. Well, it was that game. And then th this other game, which I will probably win my Minneapolis Kings team, is up 120 to 87. So the other team needs 34 points, and it needs Mike Athens of Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I don't think that's going to happen. Um, highlights on that team. Uh, Brandon Ayuk of the 49ers I picked up in free agency. <coughs> Got me 23.1 fantasy points. So, And then... Cooper Cup, hey, Cooper Cup's alive. Got 22 fantasy points. Uh, Jamal Williams, 18.2 fantasy points. Ryan Tannehill, who I did pick up in free agency, only got 17.32 fantasy points. Um, I, he, I mean, if he had done, had a better game and not thrown an interception, uh, the Titans going have won against the Bengals, but, you know, it is what it is. And I did leave a lot of fantasy points on the bench on that team. I I decided to start sit Chase Claypool on both of my teams. I started him on the, my first team in the Skull Squad and say I'm on this one. Um, so thank God that decision did not cost me. Um, and then I, also Robert Tanya in the tight end of the Packers got 12.9 fantasy points. So I sent him on both my teams. But on the uh, Skull Squad, that was for me to need. So. Um, wow, that went by really fast. Um, I feel like I have more to talk about. Oh, yes. Um, oh, Dad. Oh, no. Last, I haven't talked about the end of the World Series. Um, the, uh, Dodgers, congratulations on winning the World Series, um, 4-2. to two. But, let me reemphasize this. I believe this is the second most dumb decision ever made in sports championship history. Kevin Cash taking out Blake Snell after only giving up two hits and striking out nine guys. He took him out after, I think it was five and two-thirds innings or something like that. It's the second dumbest decision ever in a professional sports championship history. Only to be behind, um, deciding to throw the ball at the one-yard line when you have Marshawn Lynch in the backfield to lose the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's dumb decision. You know, analytics, 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 and uh, blah, blah, wow, I cannot talk right now. Analytics is all all good and done. Um, it's a great tool, especially to use in the regular season, but when it comes to the postseason. Use your eyes, Kevin Cash. Um, personally, if I was the general manager of the Tampa Bay Rays, I would kick his ass out the door. Because he literally cost them this, the World Series. So, um, yep, that's what I have to say about that. So, um, and then, yeah, oh yeah, college football. Um, God. <laughs> Before, well, it's clearly obvious I know the answer to this one. I posted a question earlier this week. Which team is more embarrassing on defense right now, the Vikings or the Minnesota Golden Gophers? Um, that question was quite simply fr easy to answer now, and it's the Gophers. Um, they lost Friday 45-44 to in overtime to Maryland! To Maryland! The Maryland Terrapins, a team that is not known for football. It's known for basketball. Yeah, God, I mean... and. I think what 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 is happening is we they lost a lot of talent in the draft coming into this year, um, so there's it's kind of like a one year like one off year where they're just get, going to get some more talent on the defensive side, um, 
so yeah, I think they're just, they got so many young guys and they're struggling. So, <laughs> yeah, things are not looking good for the Gophers right now. Um, but the good news is in the next game is against Illinois. So, um, if you can't beat Illinois, you don't deserve to um, represent your uh, division in the title game. So, yeah, that's that. Um, just going around the top 25 for college football. Ohio State beat Penn State 38-25, to not surprising. Clemson, with their backup quarterback, beat the Boston College 34-28. Georgia beat Kentucky 14-3. Michigan State beat Michigan 27-24. Very surprising there. Uh, West Virginia hammered down number 16, Kansas State, 37-10. Uh, Indiana beat Rutgers, 37-21. Texas beat number 6, Oklahoma State, 41-34 in overtime. Alabama beat Mississippi State, 41-0. Big whoop. Virginia beat number 15, North Carolina, 44-41. Big surprise there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what happened in the top, um, 25 for, uh, college football. Next weekend, we got a couple of interesting games. Got Michigan at Indiana, so that should be a interesting game. Florida at Georgia, that should be a really good game. And Clemson at Notre Dame, which has been confirmed Trevor Lawrence, um, with his COVID test, will be out for that game. So, Notre Dame has a chance of uh, being Clemson with that. So, um, so yeah, I guess that's all I have to talk about for this episode of Matthew Sports Talk. Um, probably post another episode in a couple of days to talk about Monday Night Football, my power rankings, and all that jazz. So, until then, Matthew signing off.